Now we're going to learn about masks, clipping masks. Um, this is the point where you start to realize how different pieces of software like uh, within the Adobe Suite especially, like Photoshop, can be integrated in the workflow of this drawing. For example, if we wanted to move beyond just line work in this drawing and we wanted to bring in some textures, perhaps one that we found on the internet, or if we wanted to bring in um, a backing that we're creating in Photoshop, which we'll be doing later, um, I'll show you how we can take it directly in as a texture and then clip it to um, a particular part of our drawing. So I am going to zoom out and show you an image that a texture that I had found on the internet. It's a watercolor texture, and you can find loads of these things. Uh, DeviantArt is a great place to find packs full of these things at high resolution. And now I would normally edit this a bit in Photoshop, remove the color, but I'll show you how to um, how to apply it in a clipping mask straight away. Now. Um, what I want to do is place it in a new layer just to avoid messing up any of the geometries on this layer because as you can see um, with the blue outline, the current selected layer, it's sitting in the new line work layer. I want it to be in the car park texture layer, CP texture. So I'm going to control X and then click on CP texture. So that was that was cut by the way, control X and control V. And you'll see uh, with the aqua um, theme, uh, it's selected and in the CP texture. Okay, so about there is probably, and I'll just stick it, drag this layer underneath. As you can see now, it is sitting underneath the new line work layer, and I'll zoom in to have a look. I'll probably scale it down a bit, so I'll hold shift as I scale. There we go, and so I want that texture to be sitting in here. I also want, just for the moment while we're playing around with this, to mess around with the transparency, so that's this palette um, and I'll go through a bit more of that later but I'll just put this at 50% it's easy to go 50 up here okay great so now that's looking like a decent texture for the background of my car park so what I'm going to do now is just go to my layers and I want to draw the outline of what I want it to look like so I'm going to lock the new line work layer. I'm going to keep selected the car park texture so that I won't accidentally start drawing and extending lines on a new line work layer. I'm going to pick up my pen tool and I'm going to draw this using my um, Wacom tablet because it'll be a lot faster. Click, 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 click. That's a mask so it doesn't often have to be that accurate. And remember we can always edit points later so you don't have to be too uh, painstaking with how you place these lines. And to close it, there we go. So that could be our clipping mask. So um, get your selection tool by pressing V. Select both the um, line, the path, and then hold down shift and select the um, artwork as well and mind you you can be you can clip most things I'm using an image in this case but I'll show you how to do more interesting things with these um, tools in the advanced uh, episodes then you simply right click make clipping mask and there you go pretty fantastic stuff now you can imagine with Photoshop there is almost no limit to what you can uh, create um, when you start integrating these tools and if you just hover over the edge you can see the path is there if I select that path and I go up and get my direct selection tool I'll click off get that individual anchor and as you would have suspected I can change the limitations of that path once again now you notice the the image in the background isn't changing but if I have my selection tool active so not the direct selection but the selection tool, I'll zoom out, and I scale that geometry up, the, oop, sorry, I'll select that, the um, artwork that is being masked is scaled up as well, but if I only have the path selected, and I scale, Oop, that's not the case.
there you go. Okay, so if you select the object first using the direct selection tool, then switch to the selection tool, that's the arrow on the left, then you're only going to be editing the path. So the direct selection tool only edits the path and not the object behind, however the selection tool does. I hope that's not too confusing. In any case, there's an introduction to clipping masks. We'll learn more about how that powerful tool can be used in later episodes. Okay, there's a few more things I might show you before I go though. Just right click on the um, clipped object and go isolate, select clipping mask if we want to start editing these things. Double click again and you get into the image. So we're in the texture group and then image and you can move the mask up and down if you want to reorient the rescale, do anything, change the transparency of the clipping mask and you can go back and you see it's been updated. I'll click back again and get back into the layer and then once more and we're back in the artboard and if you click and you want to release the clipping mask right click release clipping mask and you've got the path geometry and the um, um, and the uh, image as well so make clipping mask and we're back again alright 